So it was Ballyhell Shamrocks 319, O'Loughlin Gales 315 in the Kilkenny Senior Hurling Championship final. Ballyhell Shamrocks have recorded a fourth Kilkenny Senior Hurling Championship in a row and a cracking game of Hurling, no doubt about it, between these two clubs. I mean, a cracking game to start with. I mean, O'Loughlin, O'Loughlin Gales certainly came flying out of traps, obviously, with that early Paddy Deegan goal. And, and certainly early on in the first half, like you were looking like a, at O'Loughlin Gales and I thought they were doing a very good job defensively uh, in my opinion the likes of david uh david fogarty and there hugh lawler was doing a very good job at uh limiting the influence of tj reed i felt um and yeah you'd have to say like oh lachlan gale started the better but valley hale shamrocks once they got going in the second half you can see why they probably are the best club team in hurling in the country at the moment like in terms of the players that they have and obviously just that ability to turn the game on its head you know it almost reminds you of the Kilkenny hurlers back in the day where they could be three, four points down and within the blink of an eye, they could be four or five points up. And that was exactly what happened. They got two goals in the space of 60 seconds. Um, and then obviously Butler goes on that brilliant solo run late on in the in the second half and completely just wipes the floor. And there was a bit of a fight back from O'Loughlin Gales. They did miss a penalty. Paddy Deegan missed the penalty. It was obviously well saved. Um, and they did get themselves at a late goal through own wall. But in the or it was Paddy Deegan actually got the late goal, but in the end, you know, it didn't call for, for much in the end from a, a all Auckland Gales point of view. Another late point to make the scoreline a little bit more respectable, but there's no doubt on that. Uh, Ballyhale Shamrocks were by far the better side, in particular in the second half, anyways. Um, just running through, I suppose, some of the big moments in the game. Obviously, this is the uh match reaction for anyone who is uh new around here. So, if you could leave a like and subscribe, I would kindly appreciate it. Um, yeah, you know, O'Loughlin Gale started very fast. They were five points up at one stage in the game. Um, you know, they obviously got that brilliant goal, it must be said, from uh, from Owen Wall. He runs, you know, straight through, cuts back on his right-hand side, buries it past the goalkeeper, brilliant finish. Um, and O'Loughlin started very, very well. You know, the likes of Paddy Deegan was having a, a very good influence, like operating on that full forward line. He struck three points, uh, or he, he struck, struck three points in the first half, I should say. He was very impressive, and certainly defensively, they were doing a great job. Like you could see what Ballyhale were trying to do, they were trying to get the ball into the likes of TJ Reid or on Cody as quickly as possible. But Hugh Lawler was brilliant in that defensive role, and he really did snuff out uh, his fellow county teammate and very much limited his uh, his influence in the first half. Anyways, Mark Bergen was very impressive from O'Loughlin and Gales. Um, you know, he had a big goal chance actually in the first half, but ended up hitting the side net and. On the 23rd minute so you know if that ends up in the, in the back of the net maybe O'Loughlin Gales are able to extend their advantage a little bit further um, and they led by five points at one stage at the start of the second half they led by three um, at the end of the first but they you know could have easily you know extended that lead even further in the first half with those goal chances like I said before there were five points up at one stage uh, in the second half but really the turning point in this game was uh, when Bally Hale struck two goals in the space of about 60 to 90 seconds to really flip the game on its head. Joe, uh, Joe Cudhitty, Joe Cudahy, I should say, I'm kind of messing up that name there. Um, he got his goal on the 36th minute. Uh, Stephen Murphy made a fine save from Owen Reid, I believe it was. And then uh, Adrian Mullen was the one who uh, obviously flicked in the uh, second goal. It was a TJ Reid sideline ball and Adrian Mullen just with a little flick at a hurl managed to put it in the top left hand corner and really from there bally hell cer certainly um asserted their ascendancy we should say um with a lovely couple of points from the likes of tj reed brian cody own reed uh, and ronan corkner corcoran who obviously won man of the match on uh tg car was very impressive as well and they actually hit one six without reply which really um from there you could tell how much bally hell were dominant in terms of this game and like what I said before, Deegan had a penalty saved from Sean Mason, but it didn't make a difference. And even even though Bally Hale went down to uh, to 14 men, uh, or all Auckland's, I should say, went down to 14 men with, with Danny Lockland getting sent off, you know, it, it was very much game over either way from, from that point of view. And, and Bally Hale, to be fair to them, marched on with a, a very comfortable victory. And once again, show why, you know, they've won four in a row now in Kilkenny. Like, they have that resolve. They have that metal within them. When it becomes a dogfight, they're able to turn the game on its head. Like, and in the first half, they kind of just stuck with all Auckland Gales. Like, they weren't at their absolute best. They certainly didn't get out of third gear. And, you know, they were only ever three or four points down. So, like, they, they were still always in the game. And once they got those opportunities, 
those two goal opportunities, they took them. And that's the difference for me anyways, between a team that, you know, doesn't win all Ireland's and wins all Ireland's. And Bally Hale, fantastic at doing that, obviously, over the last couple of years. And once they turned the tide, there was really no looking back. So, um, yeah, massive fair play to Bally Hale Shamrocks for, for getting the win. NM Kevin there says he won. And then he uh, he answers his own question with Bally Hale. That's absolutely right. Bally Hale Shamrocks, 319. O'Loughlin Gales, 315. So, yeah, fair play to them. Huge win. They march on into uh, the Leinster Club Senior Hurling Championship. Um, and it's going to be very intriguing to see how that goes. With the way the draw, I believe, is asphyxiated in Leinster, it could end up being the Dublin champions and the Kilkenny champions in the final. So maybe you could see Kil McCord or Nafina going up against um, uh, Ballyhale Shamrocks, which would be a very intriguing game. No doubt about it, Ballyhale would certainly be the favourites, but they will have to play Mount Leinster Rangers in a quarter final first of all, uh, at the end of the month, and that's certainly going to be a very intriguing matchup, no doubt about that. Fair play to Bally Hale, they get the victory, they get the win. Oh, Lachlan Gales, look, listen, fair play to them. You know, we've seen Bally Hale absolutely dismiss teams before. Bally Hale won this county final last year very, very comfortably, and oh, Lachlan Gales gave it all they had. And you know, on another day, maybe if um, Bergen takes that opportunity, maybe it's a different game. Uh, obviously with those two goals as well like it was a brilliant flick no doubt about it from Adrian Mullen but if that goes wide you just never know maybe if the penalty goes in uh, all Auckland Gales might have uh, closed the game out a little bit sooner it's um, you just never know what might have happened but yeah fair play to Ballyhell Shamrocks huge win for them they march on into the Leinster Club Senior Hurland Championship and um, yeah you know that's a, a huge win for them no doubt about that do stay tuned for more Match reactions uh, coming soon. There'll be a reaction after the Nave Connell St. Union's game that's on at the moment, obviously on TG Car. So stay tuned for that and more reactions to come. Make sure to check out the uh, the sponsors of yeah. Make sure to check out the the sponsors of the page as well. Declan Kirby GA Star, great children's books for uh, for GA. So I'd much appreciate if anyone could check that out. And yeah, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next one.